Well, switching gears now, the 30th anniversary of Essence Festival has officially kicked off. Organizers, they just held a press conference. Our LBJ is live at Gallier Hall with what's new this year. What's going on, LB? Uh, well, Amy, you know, new, there's something new every year, and you're absolutely right. New is always who's performing and all that. Of course, some of the big names this year would be Usher and, and uh, the Cash Money Millionaires, New Orleans Zone, headlining tomorrow night on the first night in the Superdome. But, you know, uh, part of what this was all about today was the embrace of the city of New Orleans and the Essence Festival of Culture and the embrace of the uh, the Essence Festival to the city of New Orleans. Caroline Wanga, the CEO of Essence Ventures, saying, hey, New Orleans, we go together and we ain't breaking up. And part of the reason it was so important to kind of continue to say that, as Mayor Cantrell put it, she talked about the economic impact of us going together. The economic impact is over $300 million to our city as well as to our state. We also understand that it brings in over 500,000 people to this city, and that is growing. We understand that the numbers this year are right where we were in 2019. That's a big deal. And the reason that the mayor mentioned the 2019 numbers, because that was the record-breaking year of the Essence Festival of Culture. Of course, that saw the return of Janet Jackson to the scene, and her comeback tour was a part of the Essence Festival. Of course, Janet headlines Sunday night in the Superdome. But of course, three days in the convention center, including a visit from Vice President Kamala Harris. That will happen Saturday. The three days start tomorrow, daytime in the convention center, nighttime in the Louisiana Superdome, and stuff happening just all throughout the city, events everywhere you'd want to see them. So, Amy, back awesome. to you. Going to be a big weekend in New Orleans. Thanks so much, LB.